Hey everybody, welcome to Dreamland Acres, I'm John. Today, we're gonna to be taking care of the Branson fender. Uh, we're gonna take care of the crack on the driver's side and then we're gonna strengthen the passenger side with some fiberglass. So, if you think you're interested in that or you wanna learn more about fiberglass, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you in close. We're gonna take a look at the crack right now so you can see just what we gotta fix uh, before I touch anything. So. Let's get in here and take a look. All right, so as you can see, uh, we have a pretty severe crack right on the inside here, and it splits upward. On the outside here, you can see how it's splitting, and we're about up to here. So luckily, um, we've got a good bit of meat on both sides so that we can fiberglass the back side of this. So I think the only part that we're gonna have, maybe have issues with is because the clearance between the tire and the fender itself is kind of close but we'll see how it goes. So we got some latex gloves. I don't have any masks. And um, we're gonna mix up our two-part epoxy resin. We're gonna cut the fiberglass sheets to size. So let's get started on that. All right, so we're gonna show you the supplies that we're gonna be using for the uh, whole process. Uh, the first thing I got was 180 grit sandpaper. This is wet sandpaper or dry. The other thing that I've got is the fiberglass kit. Uh, I think it's from, yep, it's from Bondo. All right, so in the fiberglass kit here, we have our fiberglass mesh, and they give you a substantial amount of that. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good amount. Uh, we have the fiberglass resin, and they give you a little, little rubber, oh, it's actually kind of a nice spreader. And uh, this is the hardener, the liquid hardener that goes in it. And um, so the first thing that we got to do is prep the surface before we mix any of this up because once we mix it up, we've only got so much time to work with. So we're going to head over to the tractor, prep the surface on each fender on each side right now, and then we're going to mix everything up and get it applied. So let's go back to the tractor. All right, so now that we're back at the tractor, I got the 180 grit sandpaper. Uh, the reason for needing the sandpaper is you want to have a good surface for the fiberglass uh, resin to bond to. If it's a very smooth surface like glass, you can see yourself in it, it's not gonna bond to it very well and it'll probably crack off. So you wanna take some sandpaper and scuff up the surface. You don't wanna go too high of grit. You go with like four or 500 grit. It might actually be too high of grit and you'll actually polish the surface and it will prevent it from sticking. So we're gonna use 180 grit, should work just fine. We're only gonna do the back side of the fender. We're not going to touch the front side because we want to try to make it look as factory as possible. So all I'm going to do is just scuff this inner fender up. Like I said, it's going to be tight in here. So we're just going to scuff this up really well and then we'll bring you right back after I get done scuffing up the surface. Okay, I've got it pretty much scuffed up on the inside. We're gonna bring in for a closer look so you can see what it looks like now. Might be hard to tell, but it's, I've got it pretty scuffed up on the inside there. I do the passenger side, there's no crack on it, but we're gonna fiberglass in the exact same spot because if it happened here, it's probably gonna do it over there. So let's go over there and do that now. I just got done sanding the passenger side, so we're gonna bring you in close on this side so you can see how it's scuffed up now. Okay, okay so hopefully the camera picked that up. Um, so now what we need to do is clean the surface. So we've done prep the surface, we need to clean the surface and get it ready to accept the uh, resin. So now we're gonna clean everything off with some Windex and paper towels, and let's give that a go. So all I'm doing is just taking some Windex on the inside right now and just cleaning off any dust or mud, anything that's there, and to get off the excess paint that I just sanded off. Okay, so now I've got everything open and what I'm gonna do is just cut some of the fiberglass meshing material right here. So this is the actual fiberglass itself. And I just cut a piece. We're gonna go over here and see how it fits over top of that crack. Cause I want to extend over the crack at least an inch on each side. 
that's about all the room I have. So let's go do that right now. Now on the inside of here, it will kind of get extended right kind of like that. So as we see, it is a little bit too long. So I'm gonna come back right now and cut this down a little bit so that it matches the size. Now the other thing that you can do um, so you don't waste any of your fiberglass is to use a piece of paper as a template. So you'll put a piece of paper on there, cut it to the size you need, then you can trace that on your fiberglass so you have no waste. So that's a, just a quick tip because you only have so much fiberglass to deal with. So I'm going to try this now. It looks like it's perfect. All right, so I've got my template now. And I think I'm gonna do maybe two of these on there to just to make it pretty strong. So I'm gonna go back, cut another one of these, and then um, we're gonna mix up our resin at that point when we're ready to go on because you've only got, I think it said 10 to 15 minutes working time before you gotta start a new batch. So use it wisely, don't mix too much. Okay. All right, so now I'm just cutting another piece of fiberglass here using the template that I had cut just a little bit ago. So now I have two pieces of fiberglass that are going to go in that spot and this is pretty thick so I'm hoping that two pieces will be enough. I don't want to make it too strong and too rigid because then it's too rigid and then it's brittle and I feel that that can cause other breaks so I'm hoping two is going to be enough and um, what I'll probably do is I'm going to do two per side. So I'm just going to cut two more of these because I know it fits and then it'll go for the uh, passenger side. So I'm going to cut them out right now. Another good tip is to that when you're cutting your templates out that you always use the original piece that you started with in the first place. Um, never cut your new template from a clone of the original template. The reason that you don't want to do that is because every time you cut a template from something, it's probably going to be just a little bit oversized. So by using the original piece every time, you should have every piece about the same. So now we have our two per side, two for the other side. Uh, one thing that we're not going to do is I'm not going to put them on at the same time. We're going to do one piece, get that on, and then the next piece will go over top of it. So now we're going to mix our resin together. Hopefully we'll be able to do this all at once. We'll see. Okay, that's about three ounces of resin, so I'm going to add about 30 drops of the hardener. So we got about our 30 drops of hardener. I've got about three ounces of resin in here approximately. And we're gonna mix this up really well. Put on some latex gloves. Because you definitely don't wanna get this stuff on you. So now what I want to do is I want to take this and put a light coat on the uh, crack itself and uh, hopefully we'll see how this goes. So I just want to get a decent coat on there to start with. The other thing is you want to make sure the crack is sealed in front. So you want that crack to be completely sealed on there. If it's not, then what will happen is it'll, it'll wind up pulling away on you. Get this on here. That's our first piece.
and grab our second piece here. I'm probably going to leave that for now and I'm going to wind up sanding that off. Okay. So now we got to do this kind of quick because you only get 10 to 12 minutes of time. So what I'm trying to do is just clean off any excess that may have gotten on this thing. Okay, so next step is I want to clean all of this stuff out because it's already starting to coagulate in here and harden up. Clean out all the old resin that's in here and start fresh. Now, technically, you should use a whole new container, but we're not wasting another new container just to mix up some more goop. So we're going to do the same thing and then what I'm going to do is take again 30 drops of the hardener and put that in. Want well, to make sure you get it stirred up very well. That hardener you want dispersed throughout the entire bit of resin. And once we get that stirred up we're going to do the same process. We're going to go around to the passenger side. And then we're going to put some resin on the fender itself. Then we'll come back with the sheets and go back one at a time over the sheets. So let's go do that. Okay, so now that we're on the passenger side, I'm going to have to use my left hand. And I just want to get a little bit on my hands, but try not to have it dripping all over the place. And I'm just going to take and wipe it all over the inside of this fender exactly where this is going to go. Take one piece of cloth at a time and we're going to put in our resin. I found that it's nicer if you don't soak the whole thing. You put it on gradually with your hands and then it seems to be a little easier. Our second one. Man. Same thing. This one went on a little nicer. First one's always the hard one. Just smoothing it out, my fingers. All right, so as you see, that side turned out much better. The second side always does. Uh, so then after this dries, we're going to come back and sand everything uh, after it dries. So it, I think it's going to take about 24 hours to dry. We'll come back with our sandpaper, sand all the rough edges, and then we'll be done. Good to go, fixed. And if you want, you can sand the inside down and paint it, but you're never going to see it, so it doesn't matter. So I hope everybody got some good information out of this tutorial video. We're going to bring you back with a part two after it has dried and uh, do some sanding on it just to show you what it turned out to be. But this gave you a little bit of information on how to do some fiberglass work. You see it's not all that hard. Just mix a couple of ingredients together, some resin, some hardener. You have your fiberglass cloth and you're good to go. So. Hope this can help you out on your homestead. And as always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash that thumbs up, click subscribe, and tick the little bell to get notified on future videos. See you, everybody.